How to manage georeferenced data with the AEC collection? Video tutorial about the layout of a building on a parcel in a real context. Why this tutorial? With the tools of the AEC collection, you can cover a lot of disciplines and benefit from a high level of interoperability to optimize BIM workflows. Revit is the main tool for building design. For site and infrastructure design, the Duo tool is Civil 3D InfraWorks. The connection between building design and site and infrastructure design is mandatory for integrated BIM workflows. Civil 3D, Revit, and InfraWorks is the perfect association. With the default realistic rendering at each step, the project consistency is obvious. This allows an easier and better vision and analysis of the relation between the building and its environment. Georeferencing is an important information for all the project entities. With InfraWorks and Civil 3D, there can't be any ambiguity. And it can be the same for buildings using the connection with Revit. The goal of this video tutorial is to give an overview of workflows between Civil 3D, Revit and InfraWorks, of some basic manipulations in each product, of good practices to be efficient. There's three videos in this tutorial. The video number one is about existing context and preliminary design. You will see how to create the real 3D context, how to create and manage a cadastral parcel for the project, and how to manage the existing ground and how to modelize the platform for the building. The video number two is about topography in Revit and georeferencing the building. You will see how to create the Revit site file using the DWG georeference data, how to manage coordinates of the building model using the Revit site file, and how to link the existing ground to Revit. The last video, the video number three, is about aggregation in the real 3D context. You will see how to add more accuracy to the existing context, how to aggregate Civil 3D and Revit models in the context, and how to enrich the project layout for better communication and stakeholder buy-in. Thank you for watching.